What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Tuesday. I'm doing real good myself. Before we get into this particular article right here, I just want to uh, give a warning to the descendants of the 12. And that's 12 tribes that is. Most of you will know what I'm talking about. You know, uh, in light of this election coming to a head, which I'm glad, by the way, I'm tired of hearing about Trump and Biden. There's been a lot of threats that's been made on behalf of Trump, you know, giving the cue to uh, these white identity extremists saying stand by and stand ready. Other words, if I lose, y'all know what to do. Go out here and do harm basically to black people and other whites that may get caught up in the mix that some do stand for, you know, with black people. Okay. This is what I'm saying to the descendants of the 12. You guys stand by and stand ready to protect yourself, defend yourself at all costs. Do not put up with this kind of bullshit. Do not accept this kind of tyranny. You know, if anyone, you know, of these types, you know, put themselves in harm's way trying to do harm to you, do what you have to do to them to make them regret that they made that choice. Okay? Uh, for a lot of my sisters out there that like to travel by themselves, hey, y'all make sure at least y'all got that rod of correction. You know, on you. But if you if you can, don't travel by yourself and don't be out, you know, by yourselves at night and stuff. You know? But if so, make sure you got that rod of correction. Make sure you got your people in your pocket. Same thing goes for the brothers. If all possible, don't be traveling by yourself. Same thing, don't be running around at night. And if you do, make sure you got that rod of correction with you. And if you happen to come across some motherfuckers that's wanting to express their feelings because Trump lost, if that's what happens, then let nature take its course and leave the rest in the most high's hands. Okay? Now, to get into this story right here, uh, this low life reprobate piece of shit, Jonathan Mattingly, that you see before you, says here Louisville police officer suing Brianna Taylor's boyfriend for shooting him. Now, mind you, Jonathan Mattingly and his other uh, racist. Uh, criminal cohorts just like him pretty much did what uh, you uh, would see um, them do like his ancestors would do on movies like Roots you know or uh, any other like type of show that you know a movie that would show black people being uh, enslaved or in oppressed they came in the middle of the night on horseback in those movies wearing sheets. And they would go and, you know, wear a black man, a woman, black man and a black woman and the children, a family was living and they were kicked the door in, killed the black man when he stood up to protect himself and his family, killed the children. Okay. Okay. And then rape the black woman. They may leave her alive. They may not. But this is what they do. All right. Jonathan Madley, he pretty much did the same thing, but it didn't go so well for him. He got his dumb ass shot in the thigh, which, to be honest with you, I wish it had been in the head. You want to know the truth? Because see, look at what he's still doing. He has no remorse for the crime that he committed. With the murder of an unarmed woman. That he kicked their door in. Mind you. They kicked their door in. They never announced who they were. Or any damn thing. 
Just because you're a police officer, you don't have the right to do these things. The lines are so blurred between uh, policemen as far as being criminals versus being law enforcement. It's, it's pathetic in this country now. And the thing is, is this. We cannot continue to accept a system like this. We can't. It is a detriment to our existence as a people. You see. Now to get into the story. It's sad. Breonna Taylor was caught in the crossfire when police executed a warrant on her drug dealing boyfriend, Kenneth Walker. Not that leftists. Activists care about things like facts and details. But this story now has an interesting plot twist. Jonathan Mattingly, Mattingly, one of the police officers who was shot by the boyfriend, is suing the boyfriend for emotional distress. Now, first of all, when was it ever proven that Kenneth Walker was a drug dealer? Okay. Did when they went in there and basically pillaged this place and shot, murdered, you know, and all that kind of stuff, was drugs found? Of course not. None of that. None of that. So where did you get that this man was a drug dealer? Okay. See. Uh, here we go with more trumped up bullshit. You see. Second of all. This low life piece of shit right here, he has no remorse for the murder <laughs> that he committed to Breonna Taylor. And he's being so disrespectful. You know? Talking about dashing salt in a wound. You know? Let's check this video out right here and uh, see what it's saying. A Louisville police sergeant involved in the raid that led to Breonna Taylor's death is countersuing her boyfriend. Officer Jonathan Mattingly accuses Kenneth Walker of causing him severe trauma, mental anguish, and emotional distress. Mattingly was shot in the leg during the confrontation that killed Breonna Taylor. Walker is suing Kentucky's Attorney General, the Louisville Metro Police Department, and the city. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, has a response from his lawyers. The law is not on their side, the facts are not on their side, and the truths are not on their side. Frederick Moore, one of Kenneth Walker's attorneys, says Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly's countersuit against his client is just the latest attempt to deflect responsibility for the events that led to the shooting death of Breonna Taylor. How can you sue Kenneth when he was acting lawfully? Mattingly's attorney, Kent Wicker, stated in the countersuit that Walker's conduct in shooting Mattingly is outrageous and tolerable and offends all accepted standards of decency and morality. In a statement, he added that Sergeant Mattingly should use the legal process to seek a remedy for the injury that Walker has caused him. Walker maintains the police did not announce themselves when they executed a no-knock search warrant related to a drug case on Taylor's apartment back in March. He says he fired a single shot believing police were intruders. That single shot allegedly hit Sergeant Mattingly in the thigh. But a portion of the Kentucky State Police Ballistics Report obtained by CBS News says it's inconclusive who fired the shot that hit Mattingly. Walker spoke to Gail King earlier this month about the moment he fired his licensed gun. So you fire off a shot in what direction? Well, no, I wasn't like aiming it straight ahead. It was like down towards the ground. You know, trying to just, you know, scare him off. Also this month, Sergeant Mattingly spoke publicly to ABC News and the Louisville Courier Journal and dismissed Walker's version of the events. He said Walker was not pointing his gun at the ground. I saw his gun. Our postures were the same looking at each other uh, when he fired that shot. Walker's legal so? team says Mattingly is attempting to further victimize and harass him. You kill the guy's girlfriend in front of him. You shoot at him over 30 times, you change his life, and then on top of that, when he tries to exercise his constitutional right and receive uh, justice for what's happened to him, you then vindictively file a frivolous lawsuit against him. For CBS This Morning, Jerika Duncan, New York. I have to say, guys, when I first heard about the lawsuit, you, I, was seeing, I thought I heard it wrong, and then I read it and thought I must be reading it wrong. I don't understand, Officer 
Mattingly's strategy here. I, well, I you can file a lawsuit about almost anything, Gail. It doesn't mean is that how yeah, it works? Yeah. A judge will will have will, will make a final decision on this one. Well, far as I'm concerned, I don't see any judge respecting what this reprobate ass so-called officer is trying to do here. I really don't. Like I said, you brung those injury, that injury up on yourself when you kicked that man's door in in the middle of the night. That's just what you should have got. And like I said, I'm going to say it again. You should have got it in be right between your fucking eyes. Kenneth Walker did the right thing. Jonathan Magley, uh, Mattingly, whatever your damn name is, you are a criminal with a badge. There's just all there is to it. Now, in conclusion here, it says, in a statement obtained by CBS News, Mattingly's attorney, Kent Wicker, voiced his support for his client. Of course he's going to do that. He's a piece of shit ass ambulance chasing lawyer. Okay. Now, Mattingly was shot and nearly killed by Kenneth Walker. He's entitled to and should use legal process to seek a remedy for the injury that Walker caused him, has caused him, Wicker said. All right. This is just like jumping over the fence, you know, of your neighbor's fence. And you know, they got killer dogs over there and you jump and damn dogs get you and bite your ass. You understand what I mean? And now you want to sue them for that. <laughs> That's basically what it boils down to. And also he's suing. On, 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 on because he's mad because Kenneth Walker is suing and that he actually has a case. You see, that's what this all boils down to. He, he, he don't want Kenneth Walker to be awarded any kind of money whatsoever. He's a piece of shit, man. I tell you. Um, it says here, I'm not sure uh, legally what uh, what's happening, well, what's possible here, but I support what police officers is doing, liberals, the media, and quite frankly, entire Democrat party has made it clear that if they can score a single political point by throwing cops under the bus, they're going to do. Just look at what happened in Philadelphia. A man charged cops with a weapon, yeah, with a weapon, and after giving him multiple warnings to stop, the cops were forced to shoot him. The response from the left and the media, but I repeat myself, the cops are at fault for not shooting him in the leg. Now, let's uh, all look at it, this obvious um, distraction, so that we don't have to cover the issuing riots, which are bad, for Joe Biden, Democrat elect, well, Democratic elected officials have made it clear they never have the cops backs. Hmm. The media has made it clear they will never have the cops backs. If it is meant being able to provide for my family, I will sue too. Man, use you a low life piece of shit ambulance chasing. Attorney, that's what you are. He put himself in that predicament. And it's just too bad, like I said, that you didn't die in the line of duty that night for what you was doing. Like I said, Ken Walker had every right, you know, to, to uh, shoot these bastards. He really did. As for Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal, and all the rest of them that's talking this stupid shit. Well, he did shoot at police officers. You motherfuckers is just as bad as this piece of shit that we see that you see before you. You're just as bad. That's another thing. We have got to stop supporting these damn celebrities. Because once they make it to a certain echelon of fame and fortune. <laughs> The black people that put them there, they look back on and shit on. That's basically what it all boils down to, okay? They support this kind right here who has 
other words, the Most High has a hit for. Yeah. And <laughs> his hit men don't miss. I can guarantee you that. The Most High. The God of Gods. His hit men don't miss. Jonathan Mattingly. <laughs> I can tell you. Now, y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are, this is James, and I'm out. Peace.